so it's Tuesday, 1st of May 2018 at 5.30 a.m. <clears throat> the lighting is very, very bad. Oh. I can't do anything about that, it's early in the morning. <laughs> People are sleeping. I didn't um, have a bad diet thing yesterday. I don't like them this much. No, I'll just put the stupid foundation on. I'm so. I'm so not taking care of myself. It's got I don't feel too happy. But I'm in a I'm objectively in a much better place than most people on this planet. But subjectively I am experiencing distress so obje objectively I should be very happy but subjectively so I have to I have to subjectively uh, improve my well I have to improve my subjective experience of this objective world I have to improve my subjective experience of this objective world. Mm. Mm, yes, I do want to get some surgeries. I've been thinking about this. I want to get a nose job. And I want to, yeah, I want to get a. I'm thinking about getting SRS. SRS. There might be. I think there's a surgeon in Sydney who can do it. I think it's just not that far from here. So if that's if a surgeon here is available, that'd be so good. Cause I don't have to travel overseas. It'd be so convenient. So, so convenient. I bet it uh, charges a lot. <gasps> you know, like 50,000. <gasps> I don't know, I haven't checked. But it might be quite expensive. Completely or not completely, like, look at it. I haven't been taking care of myself. I had three cups of coffee yesterday. I did not eat my veggie stew, though I did make my veggie stew for the two days prior. Oh no, I was getting a bit anxious. I'm becoming more and more like um, conscious of my facial features and like so one of the reasons I don't want to make uh, videos is because I don't like my voice. It's like I've been very, I think I'm becoming much more self-conscious about these things. And on top of that, I haven't I have completely neglected my voice training. So I'm not really doing the things I want to do. So I'm very self-conscious right now. I'm like, oh my god, if I go out like this, I'm gonna 
weight situation I have, you know, I've been neglecting, you know, lots of things I've been completely, so overall I don't feel, <coughs> sub like, objectively I should be pretty happy, but <laughs> subjectively I, you know, I'm not, uh, not that happy, so. I don't know, it's stupid lighting, I don't know how it's going to look. Electrolysis done. Electrolysis. <laughs> See, that's it. I'm not gonna do anything. I just put a foundation. That's it. <coughs> foundation. I'm gonna sleep last night. It's not my fault. I don't blame anyone. It's it's, it's I should be. I should be taking care of myself. But <coughs> I gotta wash my hands. self-conscious about these things so because I'm more self-conscious about them I feel <coughs> more unhappy see ignorance is bliss <laughs> ignorance is bliss oh, shit oh man I forgot to even do my hair thing so I'm not I'm not I'm not <coughs> happy. I'm not happy with the. Uh, I'm not subjectively happy. <laughs> I could I could make myself subjectively happy, I guess. Yeah, you know I have. I think I, think I have my health sort of. <coughs> I don't know. I just feel very depressed. I feel very, very depressed. I feel kind of depressed. <coughs> oh, here's my uh, results from the blood test. I don't want to show all the details. Uh, well. Um, <coughs> so the estrogen count was 851, which is pretty good, I guess. You know, after one year, it's still kind of good. Um, yeah, my prolactin has gone down, which is good. to 181, I don't know, MIU per liter. 
because last time it was 671 which was concerning the reference range is 85 to 500 so it's 181 uh, my testosterone is 1.0 which was which went down from 1.3 and the reference range for women is 0 0.2 to 1.8 so i'm kind of in the average 1.0 uh, hmm vitamin D is 66 which is kind of uh, last time was 67 yeah I don't go out in the sun that much but anyway so I'm very unhappy <coughs> I know I know I'm objectively in a much better position than a lot of uh, overwhelming a lot of people on this planet after uh, I just feel very depressed right now <laughs> I feel depressed with the, the, I've neglected my transition oh, I feel like my face is like Especially in this lighting, it's so horrible. So, I don't know why I want to make this stupid video. It's like, I don't know if I want to make this video. I don't feel too good. I don't feel so good. Uh, let me try the other camera anyway. Okay, it's 5.42, I have to leave soon. Oh, this is the other camera. My face looks fat. I just don't know why I feel so horrible. Like, I don't know, I guess I'm just comparing myself with all these... I just feel like I just don't like the way my face looks. Maybe I should get a whole surgery on my face. Make it look more feminine. Yeah, this was depressing me is um I wanna look more feminine. I wanna sound more feminine. Seriously, this is so depressing. Yeah, I'm just kind of. I hate this. Well, you know, like I said, uh, I should be glad. I should have gratitude. Should have gratitude. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just seeing all these um, things about strangling. <laughs> these videos, some uh, from movies. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just comparing myself to all these trans women who look good. And I'm like, fuck, I feel so miserable comparing myself. Anyways, it's just getting too depressing now, but I'm gonna go. I finished my appointment, got a new implant. Uh, yeah, so everything was good. The blood work was good. I think because I'm having all that superfood, 
<laughs> it's probably helping. So everything was good. The blood, the blood results was yeah, pretty good, better than before. So he said I could go off the, um, you know, the um, the uh, spiral, you know, the testosterone blocker because it seems to be okay. So anyway, it's I want to go home and. Uh, Crossing the street. <laughs> yes, yeah, uh, anyway. I'm gonna go home and uh, try to get some sleep. So it's 9 13. I don't look. I think that lighting made me look more harsh. <laughs> in the morning I was, very, I was looking at looking at the stupid screen and feeling so dysphoric it's like oh I look so bad I don't look so bad here anyway so you know I still haven't driven this car I still haven't driven it my mom wants me to drive it so I get a feel for it so I can you know so if I need to go somewhere I can Use it, but I still haven't driven it. How is this? Anyway, so I got the implant. Uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, I asked my endocrinologist for like a does he know any other <laughs> person in Sydney who does this as a backup? And he goes, oh, Not many people do this. <laughs> But they should, but 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 he did give me a referral to a um, someone in Taylor Square. I went there before. I, I think I, that's I went there like that's one of the first places I went to to get to. Uh, you know when I decided to transition, um, and then I saw my. Uh, I saw my endocrinologist endocrinologist after I went there, but uh, yeah, but he gave me a. Uh, you know, so a referral like oh they're at this place, uh, so just you know as as a backup, like you know I was feeling anxious like oh, what if my endocrinologist is not available? Where do I get my hormone implant? But um, so as uh, so I know at least one place to go to. You know, I was also talking to him about the. Uh, SRS and you know I mentioned this other doctor and he didn't he, he hasn't heard about this surgeon so I don't know maybe the surgeon might be very new but he says like most of the trans women who like he says they go to Thailand and um, because the surgeons in Thailand are pretty you know good because you know obviously they do lots of surgery so they have a lot of experience I think that might be a better idea to go to Thailand instead of here because it's also cheaper a little bit and um, so I think in Thailand uh, with this Dr. Suporn he's apparently very popular but he's retiring but he's got another person who's training under him or something anyway so he's he's got he's very popular so I think his fee is around twenty thousand dollars um, so it's not as expensive as, you know, 40, 50, like, uh, so, you know, so maybe, maybe I'll go to Thailand, yeah, yeah, so, anyway, but, you know, I have to first deal with all of my self-care issues, my mental health issues, and all of that stuff, I've got to deal with that. You know, I'm gonna, you know, take care of myself and be nice to myself. <laughs> be nice to myself. <laughs> so yeah, so the um, you know, one implant lasts for about a oh, about a year. 
I mean, you know, like I mentioned, my endocrinologist thinks I can go off the spiral lactone, you know, because I, I, I went down f from 25 milligrams to 12.5, and he goes, well, you know, it's still... So he, he, he's, he's thinking that I can, uh, you know, not, I don't need to use that anymore, which is good because that's another so medication I can stop taking, you know, so, if, uh, so I, I told him I will, I will stop it after six months. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, so that, that means I'll only need to take my Provera. You know, the less hormones you take, the, the better it is. The less, the less is better. That's, that's one of the benefits of getting the Ocheoctomy. You know, is that, uh, you know, I don't have to take a lot of those strong <laughs> pills. Because when I was starting out, I used to take 100 milligrams of that spiral. And now it's like 12.5, and he thinks I don't even need to use that anymore. So I was like... Anyway, so I mean, um, I was very shitty in the morning. I was like, so, like in the morning train, I was feeling so nauseous, like I would throw up, and it's because of the lack of sleep, and oh, I don't know, I was just having a very bad day yesterday, and um, you know, I didn't sleep well, and you know, I need to take care of myself. That's my number one goal, <laughs> is to take care of myself. I want to use this vacation time to 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 take care of myself, make myself feel better. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Yeah.